We're abiding by our side of the uh, bargain. We entered into the confidence and supply agreement uh, in relation to supporting Brexit on the basis of our shared priorities, the shared priorities of the Conservative Party and the Democratic Unionist Party. And what were they? To deliver control of our laws, borders and money for the UK and also that the UK would leave the European Union as one United Kingdom. Now, if Theresa May wishes to go down a different path from that, then she can't count on our support on the Brexit uh, deal that she has put forward, obviously. And it obviously has consequences. So, you know, it's really a matter for the Conservative Party. Our deal's with the party, not with any particular leader or Prime Minister. And it's a matter for the Conservative Party whether it wishes to maintain that confidence supply agreement. We're certainly up for that. Um, so if the Prime Minister can't or won't get more concessions from Brussels, what you're saying is you're ready to pull the plug on the confidence and supply arrangement? Well, what we're first of all determined to do is to uh, defeat the government's uh, meaningful vote on this deal, along with many, many colleagues in the Conservative and Unionist Party and along with many colleagues in other parties as well. That's our, that's our focus. Uh, issues about confidence and supply come after that. It really depends what happens. Uh, some people have been going about saying, you know, what are the permutations? What would we do? Clearly, if this is defeated or if the withdrawal agreement is changed in a way that is satisfactory, uh, then clearly those issues don't arise as far as any vote of no confidence in the government is concerned.